this is not a common video that I would probably make but I have to share this information so uh, this will probably be my final video in regards to uh, a series of videos I made about bad bugs so uh, I hope you find the information useful and um, many of these methods that I'm about to explain I use to overcome my infestation in bug bugs. So, I hope you find the video enjoyable and and uh, hope you gain as much information from it as possible. First thing I did, and I'm going to try to keep each section that I'm going to talk about uh, extremely short, that way this video doesn't seem like it's too long, is uh, first thing I did was I uh, divided each room up basically into sectors. So, with that being said, um, I could focus on each room individually because just because bed bugs are called bed bugs, that does not mean that they stay on the bed. They may live in a different room and travel to your bed and bite you and then go back to whatever room that they're living in. Not always the case, but that, that is sometimes. Um, so I, what I'll do is I'm going to start off by pointing out a few things. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but right here, let's see if you turn on this light. Right here, there's a very thin layer of demaceous earth. And so that separates this room, the living room, from, that's the bathroom. There's another layer of demaceous earth along the doorway um, from my bedroom, which there's another layer. And all along the baseboard, and this is very important, all along the baseboard, you have to apply demaceous earth because there's no sense in applying demaceous earth in front of the door if they can simply go through the baseboard and come through the wall. So, with that being said, demaceous earth all along the baseboards, even in the slightest of cracks. So, I'll show you some of the, 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 the chemicals and the different types of demaceous earth, which demaceous earth is demaceous earth, but it can be applied in different manner uh, as far as like a powder or a spray, which I'll show you. But once I did that, that helped to stem the flow of bed bugs traveling between rooms. That seemed like that almost, it did, that stopped immediately. Uh, now they do crawl, but the whole thing is, applying it along the baseboard in order for them to get to this wall you want them to try to travel through that demaceous earth because if they see the demaceous earth they will try to avoid it but if that's the only way they can get onto the wall by traveling through the demaceous earth then you're doing a good thing so we're going to move on to the second part of this which is talking about um, the traps. So, we're going to talk about the traps now. Let me get my finger out of the way. Uh, I do apologize for that. Uh, these traps have a inner wall, and so the way they work is bed bugs crawl up, they fall in, and what you do is you dust the sides with talcum powder, and they do need to be redusted every once in a while. And so, I've taken it a little bit further by adding some demaceous earth into the inner well. So bugs fall in, they fall into the demaceous earth, they attempt to get out by crawling out, you know, crawling up the sides, which the talcum powder stops them from doing that. And while they're doing that, the demaceous earth works its way into their exoskeleton. Very effective. And so, uh, I have it on my couch, my ottoman, uh, my chair, anything that has legs, you need to apply it. Uh, what is this, some tape? <laughs> um, and um, that'll take care of that part and keep them from climbing onto your furniture. And if they're already on your furniture, uh, it'll keep them from getting off the furniture. They'll be inside the inner well. And so that brings us to our third part which we'll talk about the light sockets. So, here's our electrical outlet. It's very crucial that you pay attention to your electrical outlet 
because I don't know if, you, if you've watched my earlier videos that I made about bed bugs. Those ways were somewhat effective and it did reduce their population. But the bed bugs uh, alter where they like to uh, stay, which is like a harbor site. And so I came up with a theory that I thought they may have been trying, may have been coming out of the outlet. Like they moved to the outlet and stayed there until it was time for them to come out and bite me. And so. What I did was I taped up all the outlets along the edge because my outlets actually protrude a little bit and the gap is big enough for a bed bug to slide through. And so once I put that, then this is double sided tape. So once I put that double sided tape on there and some of these uh, baby proof the outlets, um, that denied the, the, the bed bugs a chance to crawl back into the outlet if they were coming out of the outlets which that also keeps bugs from uh, migrating from other apartments since I do stay in, in a uh, a uh, multi-unit apartment building like eight stories tall so uh, I think that was effective because um, the biting stopped immediately after I put the, the tape on the outlet so maybe that <laughs> there's a connection between it uh, but it doesn't hurt to try. You know, these are all methods. Some work, some don't. Um, but all I can say is, is my infestation is gone. So, uh, and it's been probably two and a half months, three months since the last bite. So I must be doing something that's working. Now, uh, one thing I did notice, and see, I'll, I'll take you guys out into the hallway. To show you the, the the source of where these bugs came in, and uh, I rectified that somewhat, and it it seems to to prevent new bugs from coming in. Uh, but we'll we'll get to that. We'll move on to the next part. Hallway, and uh, this is that that wall that I was telling you guys about. You see that gap? That leads directly into my kitchen. And so I have Demacious Earth all along the baseboard and down in there. And once I did that, that seemed to, to stem the flow of, uh, of bugs that were coming from this trash room. As you can see, I got Demacious Earth all along certain, certain cracks next to the trash room. They actually went all up and down this hallway. And the deal is, is uh, what it was was... There was a woman who uh, on my floor who had bed bugs. So what she was doing was she was throwing away her stuff into this, these trash cans. And logically, bed bugs don't eat trash. So the first thing they did was make their way to that wall, which that wall is on the, on the opposite side of that wall is my kitchen. And so uh, they came in through that big ass gap that I showed you. Um... As a precaution, I sprayed a little bit of tri dye around this outlet just in case they might find a way to crawl through that outlet and into the wall. There's a tri dye all along the door. And as you can see, Demacious Earth at the entrance. So. Let's try that. It goes all the way down the hallway, which I put put that down with my own money. As you can see, Demacious Earth all along the baseboard. You got to make the make it as difficult as possible for these bugs, and uh, it takes it's going to take a month, maybe a month or two, to to slowly kill them off. But like I, like I said, now I'll, I'll explain the pest control people. They came in the next part of this video, along with some of the, the things that I use. Besides, you've already seen the traps. Uh, I'm going to show you like the tri eye, the growth regulator, and all that stuff. So just hold on one minute. We've made it to the final part, which um, this is all the stuff along with the double-sided tape and the the tools. You can see my wallet on the floor. I was 
I was getting ready to show you guys the credit card trick, but and I still I think I still am. So what you do is you take a credit card and I'm purposely holding my thumb over my three digits on the back. But you take a credit card and you slide it into you see if you can slide it into a crack. You see how that credit card fits in there. If a credit card fits in there, then it's probably big enough for, it's logically speaking if you have an infestation um, then bed bugs are probably living in there so that brings us back to some of the chemicals as you can see I have a tri dye barrier from the kitchen these chemicals not chemicals some of them are chemicals this is I would say it's effective on the juveniles and it's supposed to be effective on the kids, on the babies. Not the babies, but the eggs. Um, I sprayed this when I initially first found out or first saw bed bugs coming through that kitchen wall. I sprayed this into the crack and then I vacuumed. Uh, I probably waited about an hour and then I vacuumed suction through the, through, through the crack under the floor, well, under the baseboard. And then I emptied the canister on the floor. And so I found a significant amount of juveniles that had died from the hot shot. But no adults. And I actually sprayed an adult. And it just kept on. It didn't die at all. So it, it seemed to be effective on the first and second instars, I guess. But not effective on anything after that. Now the tri dye is the, the big one that you're going to need. Um, you can get this from Amazon, but it, it contains, excuse me, it contains Dimatius Earth and uh, pyrethrine or pyrethrine dust. It, that kills bed bugs. So, um, long after the chemical part wears off, the Dimatius Earth stays around and continues to kill bed bugs. This is just pure Dimatius Earth. Um, that's what I use to put all along my baseboard. As using a lot of this would be pretty expensive. I've, I've actually used a lot of this. Probably went through six cans, six or seven cans, trying to do my apartment and the hallway, and the hallway on the other wing where the woman's apartment is. Um, but this is pretty effective. I got a lot of this, and you put this all along your baseboard. I actually put this in my uh, uh, to when I took my bed apart. I uh, uh, put a, a dusting in the frame and all of that stuff. So immediately the bug, the bed was not a very suitable place for the bed bugs to live because of that powder. Uh, this Gentro, a lot of debate on whether or not this works, but uh, in areas where I didn't spray tri dye or uh, uh, um, uh, this this uh, this hot shot. I sprayed uh, Gentrol. It's supposed to be, it's an insect growth regulator. It's supposed to deny the bed bugs the ability to reproduce, makes them sterile. So, can't tell you whether or not it, it works, but I did notice the population sort of just crashed after a while. I didn't see too many uh, new uh, baby bed bugs or anything, just uh, the adults that had already, you know had already made it past their instar stages and became adults. So, I hope you find this very informational. I, I'm trying to squeeze a lot of information that I learned through uh, just trial and error, messing around with these insects. When I had them, uh, uh, if you have any questions, just, you know, comment, and I'll be more than welcome to explain something if you need it. Thanks for watching.